Back in 2014, I did two podcasts. You can look this up, Word Magazine 31 and Word Magazine 32, in which I reviewed a sermon by the new Calvinist guru, John Piper, on the Pericope Adulteri. In that sermon, Piper announced that he embraced the view of the majority of modern text critics that the woman taken in adultery passage was not inspired or original to John, and it should not be part of the text proper. Instead, he suggested it was a floating tradition later inserted into the text. He further suggested that we know the Pericope Adulteri is not original because its language and vocabulary are completely inconsistent with the rest of John's gospel. Do you follow that? The argument is, if you look at John 7, 53 through 8, 11, the language, the syntax, the style is, doesn't fit with what we find in the rest of the Gospel of John, and this proves that it is not original. You could see, even within the sermon that he preached on it to his congregation, he sensed that ordinary believers in the pew might be squirming because they love that passage. It's upsetting. You're, you mean the woman taken in adultery? That passage is not original to the scriptures. You want to take it out? And so he attempted to console his audience by telling them that though this passage was not original or inspired, it was still most likely a true story. He then expounded on this by saying very passionately, dare I say hedonistically, it's true. It's a true story. Whether it happened or whether it belongs in the gospel. Yes, that's an evangelical pastor, not Rudolf Bultmann telling us that something included in the text of the Bible can be true even if it never happened, even if it doesn't belong in the Bible. 